What's up internet marketers, it's Ike Paz here and today I'm gonna show you how to create 3D covers for your printables, for your puzzles, for your lead magnets. This is a useful skill. You can even sell this on Fiverr and make money that way if you want, okay? Now, before I begin, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, if you see me on Facebook, don't worry about that. <laughs> hey, just stick around, watch this guide until its very end. You're gonna wanna learn this, it's super simple, okay? If you're a tech dummy like me, then you're gonna wanna watch all of this because you'll be able to make 3D covers in seconds, quickly and easily, without any tech skills. Okay, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need is Canva, 100% free, you don't need anything, just Canva. Uh, Canva and GIMP, I'm gonna talk about GIMP in a second. Uh, Canva does have a premium service. I don't use a premium service. And I don't see why you need to use a premium service. I use it free, you can use it free. Just register, 100% free. Then you, you wanna click in, you wanna click in. You wanna click on the Pinterest graphic, okay? So on the Pinterest graphic, it's gonna pop up here. Now everything with Canva is drag and drop. That's it, that's why it's beautiful for us tech dummies, right? You just click on whatever, you, whatever element you wanna edit. You type in what you want. Um, change the borders around and if you want to start using start off by a t using a template just go to layouts and you just click any whatever template that, that says free on it so you can use it's really easy to do I like very simple um, template I'm um, not templates but I like very simple uh, backdrops so I, I might use solid colors like blues light blues like greens and whatnot whatever you whatever you want to do I'm gonna show you how to create 3D covers, okay? Anyways, um, here I have eight unique word search puzzles your grandparents will love solve them all. This is especially um, if you have gotten puzzle book mastery or you create printables using any of the stuff I teach or if you have a lead magnet, okay? If you have a lead magnet and you wanna um, improve conversions or like I said, if you wanna improve sales on Amazon, on Etsy, on your own site using WooCommerce, whatever the case may be, a 3D cover will help you do that, okay? So back on Canva using the Pinterest graphic. Um, like I said, if you wanna add some text, you can just go ahead and do so, boom, and edit any way you want, move it around. I'm gonna get rid of that, okay? So let's say you create your uh, cover, okay? You're like, Ike, this isn't a 3D cover. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it, check it out. You're gonna click download, okay? What number is this? Number 10, you're gonna click download. You're gonna download this to your computer, okay? That's a very, that's the first very important part. <laughs> After you do that, okay, you're gonna get GIMP. Now GIMP, is a hundred percent free open source um, piece of software. It's like Photoshop, but free. Now there's all sorts of beautiful things you can do with GIMP, but I am ignorant to that because I don't know what to do. I, I, I obviously I don't know how to use GIMP to its fullest potential. I just know how to do a few tricks on it, which I'm going to show you right now. How to create 3D covers. Okay, you download GIMP. Very easy. And then uh, I'm gonna give you a piece. I'm gonna give you. Um, I'm gonna give you a template here, a software template. This works for anything. It doesn't have to be software. Okay, it can be any type of lead magnet. You're gonna open up GIMP. You're gonna drag and drop the software template. I'm gonna give you. Don't worry. 100% free. Look down below. You'll get it. 100% free. Uh, you don't have to opt in your name to anything, none, none of that, just, it's yours, okay? You got that, you drop that into GIMP, okay? Then you find, you find that Pinterest cover that you just created a second ago. There it is, okay? And you're gonna drop that in there, boom. So far, so good, right? Okay, then, with your GIMP here, it's a funny name, isn't it? With your GIMP here, you're gonna look for this, um, this icon here. I believe this icon, yes. Perspective tool, change perspective of the layer selection for path. 
after you click, you're gonna click on that. You're gonna click on the Pinterest graphic, boom. Now check this out. So all you gotta do is take these corners, okay? And it's gonna augment the image to your liking, okay? And of course, you're gonna stretch this image to the corners of this software box. Boom. And click transform. We got a 3D cover. That simple, okay? Now this is gonna help you convert traffic into leads. If you're giving away a lead magnet, you could use uh, Ken's uh, puzzles uh, as a lead magnet. You can use them you know, as a product you sell on Amazon, whatever the case may be. Wherever you sell them, wherever you're selling them, this will add an extra level of professionalism to your puzzles, okay? So I hope you like this guide. Oh wait, let me show you. After that, after you're done with that, you, you're gonna want to click File, Export As, and Software Puzzle, for example. And you're done, .png. Upload that to whatever, wh wh wherever you're selling your printables, wherever you're giving away your lead magnet, and there you go, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Wherever you're watching this, be it on YouTube, or on Facebook, or wherever else, let me know, I'll be happy to help. Be good, take care, this is like pause, see ya.